another important mathematics concept for us to understand in order to proceed in a, a typical physics course is to, the idea of functions or graphs. And not being a mathematician, I don't think I can give the best possible summary of what a function or graph really entails, but I think I can provide a couple of good examples that help us work through understanding how to use them. So I'd like to give a simple word problem here just to, to typify some of the skills that we might need. And I'll ask which of the following graphs, there are three shown, um, best displays the volume of water in a sink for the situation described. So there are three choices, A, B, and C. And all of them uh, graph uh, volume on the vertical axis as a function of time on the horizontal axis. So the situation is to describe is that we have a sink and it has a stopper in the bottom to prevent water from draining out. And it's initially empty. And then we turn on a faucet at time t equals zero, filling, starting to fill up the sink. And then the faucet is still on, but at time t a, we pull the stopper out of the bottom of the sink. So now water is also allowed to drain. And at time t b, we turn off the faucet. Well, of these three graphs, A, B, and C, it turns out graph A best represents the situation. Graph A has a volume that's initially zero, so that's a better response than graph B, because graph B shows the sink initially filled up to some amount. B is initially, the volume is not zero at time t equals zero. Then answer A shows the sink filling up until we get to time B, and it's filling up rather rapidly. At time T A, it's filling, it's, uh, it's starting to drain, the volume is going down, and that's consistent with our description here because we pulled the stopper. It's going down somewhat slowly, but it is going down. At time TB, it's going down very rapidly. And that's because at time TB, we turned off the faucet. So in this time between A and B, the faucet is trying to fill the sink up. It's, uh, it's, uh, the drain is trying to drain the sink out. And it looks like the drain is breaking out by a little bit. In, time, in graph C, there's very much a similar beginning faucet is turned on and the sink starts filling up. At time TA, it looks like the sink is not, not filling anymore, it's draining. But it doesn't show anything uh, at time TB, which would have, have to happen if I turned off the faucet, because the faucet stops adding water to the system. And I would expect it to drain more quickly at time TB. So this is an example of trying to get, make sure that our graph does represent what we think it should do intuitively given the, the words described.